Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kevdog here, and today I'm going to be doing my best to help you prepare for the future Pokemon Home update in Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to be covering multiple ways that you can help prepare in advance so when this update does drop, you'll be ready to bring in tons of rare or shiny Pokemon into your game. We got a lot to cover today, so if you do enjoy, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what is your rarest Pokemon that you're going to transfer up, or just what is your favorite. Oh, and also let me know what generation is it from? Is it way down from Gen 1? Let me know. Anyways, guys, let's get right into the video. So you can see right here, I'm on Pokemon Violet version, but I'm mainly going to be talking about Pokemon Home. If you don't know what Pokemon Home is already, it is an application that you can use on your Switch or also on your phone. The first method of preparation that I'm going to talk about is actually Pokemon Go. A lot of people forget about Pokemon Go, and I know you probably can't see the screen too well, yeah. Maybe if you can see it right here, I have a ton of shiny Pokemon within Pokemon Go. I'll put a better screenshot of it on screen so you guys can actually see it without, you know, terrible lighting. But right here is a shiny chest pin, which I recently caught in a Community Day event. If you don't know what Community Day is, it's where for a certain chunk of hours per day each month, there will be a Pokemon with ridiculously easy shiny odds in Pokemon Go. Now what's important about this is the fact that I was able to get a chest pin with little to no effort just about a month ago. I don't remember exactly when the Chespin Community Day event was, but just know that it is very, very easy to get 10 or more shiny Pokemon within under an hour. The really important part about this is, I got that shiny Chespin with no effort, it took probably under 5 minutes, and I'm going to be able to transfer that directly from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home and then drag it over to Scarlet and Violet. I love shiny hunting, but if I already have a legitimately obtained shiny Chespin, I might as well just drag it in from Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is cool and all, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. So the next method is with other Switch games. Right here, as you can see, I'm on Pokemon Home, and on the left is the basic box. This is my storage in Pokemon Home. And on the right, this is my brilliant diamond save file. Right here, I actually stored this Raticate in Pokemon Home from Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version. I was able to open Let's Go Eevee in Pokemon Home, and then select my Raticate, drag it to Pokemon Home, and now I can open the box right here, click on it, and I'm going to bring it over to Brilliant Diamond right here. It pops up a menu and gives this little question mark up here, but that is normal, that just means it has moves that cannot be learned in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond version. I'm bringing over this Charizard as well, so just keep pressing the A button, and then you can click Save Changes, and there we go, we are now bringing over two Pokemon. Now you might be thinking, why I just bring these two Pokemon over to Brilliant Diamond if I'm talking about Scarlet and Violet? Well, it's actually because when Pokemon Scarlet and Violet update, I can bring these Pokemon from Brilliant Diamond directly over to Scarlet and Violet too. All right, here we go. So this Bulbasaur, I'll swap it out so this Raticate will be next to my Charizard. But right here, this is my Raticate that I just brought over from Pokemon Home that was originally in Let's Go Eevee version. You can see right here over by the summary by the shiny icon, that little Eevee icon indicates that it came from Let's Go Eevee version, and it even says over here that it was from the Kanto region. The same thing goes for the Charizard, and I could basically use this Pokemon in a game like Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Sword, as long as I want until Scarlet and Violet are out. As far as I know, Raticate will not actually be in Scarlet and Violet, so I'll just have to use Charizard for the example, but I could use it in here, and when I'm done, you know, go on the whole menu, go on Pokemon Home, drag it back in. Alright, I think you guys understand that method, so I'll be talking about one more, which is actually using a transfer from a 3DS. Alright, I'm back on Pokemon Home on the Switch, and I also have my 2DS XL right here. Now, one thing you can do is actually go over here on Pokemon Home and press this Move button, and it'll allow you to go on Pokemon Bank, which is an app on the 3DS to transfer your Pokemon up. Just keep in mind you do need Pokemon Home Premium to do this, so keep that in mind, it's pretty important. A couple of days ago, I actually made a YouTube short about Pokemon Bank, so when you're done with this video, I recommend checking that out too. It's only like 30 seconds long, but anyway, I'm gonna go right here on Pokemon Bank. I have some Pokemon ready right here, as you guys can see. Okay, I got my 2DS ready, I'm gonna press the OK button, and it should send these four Pokemon up to Pokemon Home, and the screen should update right here. Once you've done that and transferred your Pokemon up, you're free to just turn off your 3DS, 2DS, whatever you're using, and check on Pokemon Home. Just keep in mind if you're transferring over like 30 whole boxes, it might not let you back in Pokemon Home for a couple minutes, but I only transferred four Pokemon, so it should let me in right now. I'm gonna click on my Pokemon Shield, because that's the game I want to drag these Pokemon into for right now. Should be somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got Big Boy the Snorlax. I don't remember naming it that. We got our Celebi and Sceptile, and then the last Pokemon Silcoon, it won't let me bring it into Sword and Shield. So with these Pokemon right here, I just sent them from my 3DS up to Pokemon Home, and there's something really important I want to mention. I'm gonna drag these Pokemon in so I can actually use them in Pokemon Shield, but there's one thing I want to mention that's pretty important that a lot of people have done, which is hacking their 3DS. 
This is something that probably a lot of people would not want to do, but I can just say I've done it myself and it is very useful for a couple of reasons. Something that's helped me personally was the fact that I've actually had my Pokemon Black 2 original save file since I was 10 years old. I have the game right here, and in 2023, this game is selling for well over $200. Now, the fact that I still have my original save file from when I was 10 years old to this date made me really not want to transfer my Pokemon up to Pokemon Home. My preferences would have been to just keep it on the old games and keep my file right there, but here's something that I did. Since my 3DS is modded, I was able to actually back up the save file, and then I was able to transfer all my Pokemon from Pokemon Black 2 up to Pokemon Home. Now once all those Pokemon were up and my save file was basically empty, I was able to restore the backup of my file so I have all my Pokemon back on Black 2 still. Now that is cool because I was able to bring all those Pokemon up while maintaining them and the original save file on my Black 2 cartridge. If you wanted to, you could do something like that if you want to preserve your Pokemon on the old games as well as bring them to the new ones, but it's really up to you. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would please ask you to subscribe and leave a like down below. And like I said before, let me know what is your rarest or coolest Pokemon that you are transferring up. Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out and make sure to have fun transferring your Pokemon up to Scarlet and Violet. Peace out everyone.